One thing that is universal is traffic. Regardless of what city you go to, there is always going to be construction of some sort causing congestion. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the population of El Paso increased by 55% from 4,800,000 in 1980 to 7,400,000 in 2008. Population projections put El Paso at 8,500,000 in the year 2040. El Paso has initiated a project called Go10 to help with the growth of the city and increase capacity of the freeway. The GoTen's main strategy is to add collector distributor lanes to the freeway, which will help reduce weaving of traffic main lanes. The main lanes will control the traffic that is traveling through the area, while the collector distributor lanes are for cars that will frequently enter slash exit the freeway. Although this is an effective strategy, there is a limitation to what adding lanes can achieve. There comes a point where the population again will reach the capacity limit and many other cities have already experienced this. The cities that cannot add more lanes must get creative in the ways that they address traffic. The main solutions I believe are perfect for traffic management in El Paso is ramp metering, speed harmonization, and shoulder use. Ramp metering is the use of a basic stoplight at the beginning of a ramp to regulate the flow of cars entering the freeway. Ramp metering decreases freeway times, increases freeway travel time reliability, and decreases the number of accidents on the freeway. Ramp metering is essential because it helps regulate the volume of cars that enter their freeway, which affects how much the lanes can carry at that time. The next strategy is speed harmonization. It is a live feed of the speed limit, which changes depending on the time of day traffic volume, and accident reports. El Paso would benefit from this method because it'd be able to direct traffic in the safest speed when there are several accidents that happen across the freeway, which is pretty common. A speed harmonization display would display various speed limits that constantly change. An easy way to visualize this method is like the exit display by downtown that has a light signaling the availability of lanes during certain times of the day. This strategy allows for an increase of freeway capacity, reduces congestion and accidents. The last method used is shoulder use. Simply put, it is when shoulder lanes are being used temporarily. This would help increase capacity during peak hours, which is something very beneficial, especially in physically incapable areas. Many European countries adopted this technique, which heavily ties into speed harmonization. The signals will show when the lanes are open after inspection to see if there are no accidents. The main concern with this strategy is safety, but there is always an extra refuge area in case of any other emergencies. In conclusion, there are several methods of traffic management strategies that other big cities use that I believe we should implement. Ramp metering creates a steady pattern of cars entering without slowing down the existing traffic, Speed harmonization will be able to inform drivers of the safest, most efficient speed in real time. Shoulder use will increase the capacity of the freeway in rush hour or peak periods. Together, these methods could help relieve congestion and heavy traffic in our growing city with the benefit of increasing safety and capacity of the freeway.